it would be hard to categorize the wonderful mix of paint, thread, weaving and canvas that make up Yojen Nagopian's paintings. It's as if she's almost playing with various materials, drawing us in to a world of texture and color. And uh, it's always for me the layers. Layers and textures? Yeah, layers towards in and also, you know, towards outside. I don't start the painting and then I just put thread on top of it. It's like it can be both ways. And, you know, the color changes. Uh, if I put a, one color thread on top of everything, so it becomes like a filter. And also I'm using like the, let's say, the void. Let's say I put something and then I, um, and, and then I sew and then I take it off. So I have in a way the void <laughs> incorporated in the painting. I, I, I take from the outside, from the air outside, let's say. For me it's very important to do things with my hands, like, like to build things also, not only like to work on the surface, but also build things. You know, I always like sculpture, but for some reason, because I like color <laughs> and texture so much. Yojen is fascinated by the possibilities offered by thread. As a woman, she loves the continuity stemming from the typically female historical roots of embroidery and embellishment and she's enamored with the possibility of creating a pure color and line that can exist both above and below the canvas. I like thread because for me it's, it was like the, um, it was a physical line. I mean, it was a line by itself and it was physical and you can use it in a lot of ways. And also the color is very like, um, very clear, you know, you don't, uh, it doesn't become like, with the color, when you mix colors, it's different, it's very clear, the color. Yoshen's interest in form and texture has led her to develop these almost sculptural pieces. This thread in my old studio, there was a factory that it was like, um, they were doing clothing and stuff, and then I liked it, I brought it home. And somehow I want to do something with it, and I start doing this <laughs> in a way. So I made this like a, you know, like a mold from the finger, and I mean, in a way, I invented this technique. You know, it's like um, when you do painting, like you become one with the painting, but it, there is always an action. There is like a kind of conversation with it. You know, you proceed and something different is happening at all that compared with this kind of work is like the same thing <laughs> over and over again and you cannot do it for a very long time because it's very tiring but um, I like this thing that in you know um, in contrast with the other I mean I like both <laughs> so this is a different approach. Yojen's paintings have a freedom that seems to speak to us, the viewer, in a joyous vibrancy. She herself maintains that she doesn't overanalyze her work. She sees herself more as a means through which an artistic idea is channeled during the creative process, and that by releasing control, the work will evolve almost organically. I like to let things happen and then use them, you know, and have control over what happens and use it in a way. Um, and um, for me this is the most interesting thing because we have, you do something with, uh, and we have a very live communication, you know, it's very alive. You don't have something, you start having something on your mind and just do it, you know. You're working with it. You are just, um, you know, like the, um, whatever is happening, you are not like really working with your mind. You are just, you know, like, let's say the medium that things going through you. And what, you know, you don't have like this, again, this kind of control. And this is like the magic uh, moment for me, when you are really 
you let yourself go and it's only what's happening. let's say, why I have questions. Here I cut the covers and then I, as you see, they are very sculptural and um, I would say they are very synthetic kind of work, you know, it's layers that they build them slowly and um, they are also painted. Yoshen lived and worked in the US, gaining a master's degree from the Pratt Institute of New York before returning to Greece in 1994. Since then, she's had six solo shows in Athens and has participated in numerous group shows in Greece, the US and Europe. Looking through her biography before I made this film, I was interested to see her work has even been shown in Hawaii. Any visitor lucky enough to spend an afternoon in Eugène's studio would be staggered by the treasure trove of canvases, color and texture woven into magical and mystical landscapes of the mind. The sheer volume of work is amazing in itself. Eugène is constantly working on and developing her art. It's a life's project and the project of a lifetime. Most of the people, you know, like we are on this planet and we, we don't have the, you know, the, the most important answers, like why we are here, or, you know, this is always, I guess, in my mind, it's always like to find purpose in something and for me, I do find some kind of purpose working and building images, so, you know, I feel there is a connection with it. 